our primary responsibility is um, twofold. Uh, one is surveillance of diseases in the area that could be a potential risk to our airmen and their families, and then also prevention of those diseases, and that's coupled with whatever education we provide to the airmen on measures they need to take to keep themselves and their families safe. With Zika coming in the picture, we just basically moved up our season, started surveying for mosquitoes, setting out mosquito traps to catch mosquitoes in February. So we'll separate them out based on sex because it's only the females that will actually bite humans. And so we'll separate those and then we will send those to the Air Force lab at Yusef Sam and Wright Pat. Surveillance for mosquitoes can help us identify if a mosquito can actually carry a particular virus. So for instance, with the Zika virus, we know that uh, several species of 80s type mosquitoes can carry the virus. In addition, doing mosquito surveillance tells us, is that vector present currently? And then if that mosquito is then tested by a laboratory, does it actually have the disease? Other information that mosquito surveillance can tell us is where are the mosquitoes present on installation so we can inform our partners in CE pest management where they can focus on their control efforts. The aerospray mission that we have is, is fourfold really. Um, we do vector control, which is done in two parts, either adulticide or larvicide, uh, oil dispersant, and then we also do herbicide. So kind of uh, in a way that you would uh, think about cutting your lawn. All right, so it passes by your lawnmower, your tractor, passes by the aircraft as well. Uh, these passes that we make here are 2,000 feet wide, so the, the product that we're spraying covers a uh, 2,000 foot wide swath. Everyone has a role to play. This particular mosquito likes to live indoors, it likes to bite during the day, and one of the things it does very well is breed in artificial containers. So your flower pots, a dog bowl or pet dish, by emptying the water from these items, picking up trash, that can go a long way in reducing breeding sites for these mosquitoes and thereby reduce the risk of potentially getting bit. Again, everyone has a role to play and I encourage everyone to do that. Take, take part in this and help control, prevent Zika.